What is going on everyone, and here we are today for you an episode of Pokemon Yellow. Welcome back to the Pokemon Yellow series now in HD. Yes, HD, ladies and gentlemen, high definition. It's Pokemon Yellow though, it's from the Game Boy Color. I don't think, you know, <laughs> there's much of a difference between 360p, 480p, 720p. I think all of it is 110% irrelevant because, you know, look at the graphics, it's pixels. <laughs> I don't think it's really gonna matter uh, too much of it, you know, what kind of quality it's in, but it is in 720p for those of you who, you know, care for that. But, okay, what happened last episode? Essentially, oh, thank God, I thought he was gonna want me to battle him. Essentially, we went on and, take the, and took on the Rocket Game Corner. Last episode, you guys can go check that out if you want to, if you haven't seen it already. We went and took that on, we went and whooped their ass, we got down there Giovanni, we beat him, we got the Silscope, and what we do with the Silscope, we go back to Lavender Town, we go into the Pokemon Tower, and we free Cubone's poor mother Marowak by beating the hell out of it in a Pokemon battle, because, you know, that makes sense, and it's purple. <laughs> but yeah, somehow that's supposed to make sense. Uh, War Turtle's a starter right now. War Turtle's gonna take on the uh, beginning of the battle here. I uh, don't remember. Do I face my rival up here? I'm not sure. I know Mr. Fiji. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I know he's somewhere up here. Now I think we can also I start identifying Gastly's as well because that's gonna be something different for a change. Uh, how many of the... <laughs> I'm gonna end up. Yep, I'm gonna say I'm gonna end up battling all these broads because I don't remember which ones I battled, which ones I didn't. It's been so long since the last time I recorded that I was actually in the Lavender Tower, uh, the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Excuse me, I messed that up. But uh, yeah, last time I was here, I tried to avoid as many battles as I could, just kind of speed on through it. I don't remember which people I fought, which people I haven't. Therefore, we're probably gonna have to go through some battles in this episode. But that's okay, because that's what Pokemon's about. You train them, you battle them, you beat the game and get to the Elite Four. That's that's what you do. And eventually, I think you can go get Mewtwo as well. But still, that's what you do, right? That's what you do. Let's see if Ghastly likes a bubble. No, doesn't it? No. Yeah, your speed's... God, stop hitting me with Nightshade. You know how much damage that does? You jerk. Let's see. Yeah, that much damage. Jerk. Now I'm sitting there... Oh, ooh, no, I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any potions left. So, Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is like such a violent move in this game. It's like, -ah -ah. you guys hear the music? -ah -ah -ah. This game would give me nightmares. And that, what, that confused me? I think Lick confused. Oh, Paralysis. Okay, it's different. Uh, let's try War Gun. Just because he has barely any health left. Come on, War Turtle. I really want you to win this battle. Yes, okay. War Turtle won it. Just for, you know, just for War Turtle winning that, I'm going to put him up and back in this Pokeball. Hey, he's level 27. There you go. Mission accomplished, War Turtle. But I'm going to put Pikachu out, because Pikachu right now, as it sits, is actually the lowest person in my party, which is funny, because he's my starter. 20, yes, he's a 25. Diglett's our HM slave. Butterfree's 26. Wartrell's 27. Charmeleon's still up to a 30, because he tore through the Celadon Gym, which is primarily grass types. And uh, he got a lot of leveling up for that. But uh, Pikachu is going to be going in for us next. Uh, I think I battled this girl, because how, how did I not battle you before? There is no way around you. Maybe it resets. Maybe, you know, once after you get the Soul Scope, you have to re-battle people up here. Maybe they do that just to uh, kind of give you a nice little area where you can go and raise your Pokemon again. Either way, we're going to Thunderbolt this poor Ghastly. I was actually considering getting myself a Ghastly, raising him up to a Haunter. Uh, problem is, this is an emulator. You can't get it to go up to a Gengar, which Gengar is awesome. I, uh, I don't know. I can't decide whether or not Gengar is... You know, Gengar, Alakazam, Machamp, and Golem are actually awesome Pokemon, or if they just seem awesome because, you know, you can't get them unless you trade for them. You know, that could be the case. I'm not entirely positive. But uh, Pikachu's a 26, and it also another Ghastly. Uh, Pikachu can take them on. So I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty positive. Ooh, horrible audio. You guys hearing that? We must have had a frame rate drop right there. But, um... Golem, I think, is honestly one of my favorite Pokemon. I would, if I had to pick a favorite, I'd go Articuno, right? Articuno is awesome. Um, Machamp's awesome. Everyone likes Machamp. You think about it, everyone likes Machamp. Uh, a lot of people like Alakazam, and a lot. Yeah, you actually don't hear a big cry, a big plea for Gengar, you know? So maybe people don't actually like Gengar, because Haunter, in his own right, is pretty awesome. So, uh, matter of opinion, matter of opinion. Does a quick attack work? Hmm, why am I getting frame issues? Stop the frame issues. <sighs> I'm about to, maybe it's because I have too many things open right now. I got my new PC, new PC's awesome. I'm wondering why there's frame issues. Then again, I'm recording with Fraps now instead of Camtasia. Camtasia is what I previously recorded my Pokemon playthroughs with. Uh, now I'm using Fraps, it's a whole new program. Uh, I'm not sure the ins and outs of it yet. Uh, Pikachu's paralyzed, he's not, oh, why am I? 
doing quick attacks that don't affect the ghastly. Freaking ghastly with your purple ness. Oh, Pikachu, you were coming back in. If I let Pikachu faint, he'll be upset with me. You know who's gonna tear through these poor, poor ghost types? Wait a minute, no, actually, ghost types are strong against psychic. Uh, is it? I'm pretty sure it's the other way around as well, though. We're gonna find out. Come on, Barfer, you gotta hit your move so I can find out. I'm pretty positive they're like super effective against each other. Yeah, it's weird. Like uh, ghost moves are they, they just work. Uh, funny thing about psychic moves or psychic type Pokemon. Psychic Pokemon, if you think if you think about it, psychic is like the power of the mind. And what psychic Pokemon are weak against is actually like all the things that like typical things humans fear, such as ghosts, bugs, and dark. People fear dark. People are afraid of bugs. People are afraid of ghosts. And uh, yeah, so here's kind of neat little piece of trivia for you. Let me go down here and see whatever this is. Maybe it's a Voltorb. <laughs> HP up. I'll probably give that to Pikachu just to make him happier. Oh no! My Silphscope's about to be put in use for the first time. Nope, nope. Maybe it's already showing me a Ghastly. Hmm. Maybe it's Pokemon Fire. Oh no, please let me run. Okay, yeah, I need to get Pikachu out of there. Ah, uh, Fire Free can handle it for now. I should have bought potions. <laughs> potions are potions are a good thing. Let's avoid that shit completely. We need to make our way to the top of the tower. Go away, you freaking ghastly. So I still haven't actually decided who's going to be my Pokemon party. Uh, I've got four right now. I plan on getting Articuno because Articuno is awesome. But I don't know who should be my next one. So, I don't know. Well, you sons of... Yeah. Yeah. I got past her. Yeah. And I got... Wait, I just got cleansed. That means uh, all my Pokemon are full heal, which means I can bring out the Pikachu. Where's Pikachu? Hi, Pikachu. Would you like to come out and play? Then again, no. Pikachu's awesome and all. But this is like the one chance where this is like the one area where Butterfree is actually like effective. You know, this is where Butterfree, this is his or her, his. When you picture Butterfree, I picture a girl. When I see a bee draw, I picture a guy. Either way, uh, this is its time to shine. Is in this area filled with uh, ghost types. Yay! And I got to avoid that chick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the super fast forward button. Yeah. You don't like super fast forward button, do you? So I can sit here and just get away from you fast. <laughs> and a nugget. That'll help me buy super potions. Um, no, go away. Don't you guys love the fact that I can just press the space bar and fast forward that part up? It's awesome. It's it's one of the better things about having an emulator. It's probably the only advantage having an emulator. Uh, I'm about to battle this chick. Whatever. Butterfree's in this. You know, right? This is Butterfree. This is where Butterfree shines is against these ghost types. And undoubtedly... Every one of them's gonna have a ghastly or a haunter. This one's probably gonna be just a ghastly. Yeah, and probably one confusion I'll probably take out. If not, maybe two. We'll see. Alright, Butterfree, this is your time. Your time! Hit that confusion. Knock him out one hit. One hit, one hit, one hit. Uh, oh. Damn, doesn't even look like it. It looks like it's just under the halfway mark, which means it's gonna, unless it's a critical hit, it's probably gonna take three confusions. It, probably four or five if he keeps hitting himself in, in his own confusion. Oh, Butterfree, come on. You have mental. I don't even know the phrase. Mental toughness, I guess. There you go. Come on, crack him. Take him out one hit. Yeah, let's use the confusion right when I'm already confused. I'm confused no more, motherfucker! And he's down. There he goes, Gashley, and better for you gain the HP. We gotta be getting close to Marowak by now, you would think. Alright, can I avoid you? Doesn't look like I'm able. Go away! <laughs> All these freaking women, man. Ruff, <laughs> Did they just get lazy when they were when they were writing the dialogue for the Pokemon Tower? Like, it sounds like someone lifting or someone puking. Take your pick. Let's try a confusion. Uh, it's probably gonna do the same as the last Ghastly. Come on, think about it. But now Ghastly's gonna lick me, which will in turn probably paralyze me. Critical hit, and I'm paralyzed. Well, I always wonder why the lick actually does paralyze you, but I have a paralyzed heal, so swag. Oh no, not shit. Actually, that could be bad. That could do a lot of damage. Possibly. Maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, that's a little bit more than I would have liked to have seen. Mm. We'll go Charmeleon. I don't want to risk it. I don't have a potion. Oh no, night shade. Charmeleon is actually getting close hitting ye old old 36 which sucks because all my pokemon are like such good levels which you know in, re in most regards that's a good thing 
But when I get Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur is only level 5. Yeah, because I forgot to grab Bulbasaur. Yeah, I forgot to grab Bulbasaur. Me, who's played this game countless times as a child and did a Fire Red playthrough, which Fire Red playthrough is different, you know, with the Pokemon than Yellow. I mean, in Fire Red, you don't get yourself a Squirtle or a Pikachu or a Charmander. Um, in Fire Red, though, I started with a Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur was uh, my favorite starter growing up. And the reason Bulbasaur was my favorite starter growing up is mainly because I was the hipster. Because, you know, everyone was like, oh yeah, Charmander, oh yeah, Squirtle. No no more room for... for does, does everybody not remember last episode? Last episode, I sat there and got rid of freaking everything. Boop TM contains Razor Wind. Wait, did that not save? I'm pretty positive... Maybe maybe I just acquired Razor Wind and never threw it out. Uh, Mega oh Mega Drain. All right, Bulbasaur is keeping. Mo Bulbasaur is gonna get that. Uh, Horn Drill. No, my Pokemon can use Horn Drill. I could have sworn I tossed these things. Whatever. All right, Pikachu out of the way, sir. And a rare candy. Hmm. Go away. Do I have a potion by any chance? I'm tired of this potion. No. HP up, rare candy. I found some good stuff up here, but none of it. But I think we're with. I think we're finally getting close to Marowak. No, don't fight. Run. Is this? Where, yes, this is where Marowak's at, right? Freaking ghastlies. <sighs> Go away. Actually, I think about it. I should get Charmeleon out there. Oh, crap! All my Pokemon are weak. Wait, no. Wait, no, they're not. War Turtle's good now. Pikachu's good now. Let's get War Turtle out there. Be gone, intruders. It's creepy. I'll admit, when you're when you're a little kid, you're like, ah, oh. ghost of beards. Let's go up unveiled the ghost identity. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah, huh. wild Marowak. I remember, I remember first time this happened, I'm like, oh my god, Marowak, he's the most rare Pokemon of all. And then I would sit there and like throw Pokeballs at it continuously, not knowing that every single time it bounced off, you can't catch, you know, Cubone's mom's spirit. You know, you can battle it and hit it with bubbles, but you can't catch it. And uh, the only way to send it to the afterlife and make it feel happy is to, you know, knock it out in a battle. <laughs> and Wartel is good for that. The ghost was the re uh, restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's ca soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. I'm not worried about that Pokeball over there, by the way. I'm sure some of you were eyeing it down. Snow! Jesse and James. I forgot about them up here. I knew there was something up here, but I didn't think it was them. Grandpa wanted to complain, so we're setting him straight. We're, so render yourself invisible or prepare to fight. Hmm. Alright, Meowth. Say hi to War Turtle. War Turtle, Meowth. You guys met before. And uh, payday, that's good. So when I inevitably win this battle, I'm gonna get more money from you, which is awesome. And I'm gonna take out half your hit points with just one bubble beam. Now I'm gonna hit you with another bubble beam just for good measure, because for whatever reason, I don't think bubble itself would do the rest of that damage. But yeah, bubble beam will. So you're gonna get a double dose of bubble beam. You're gonna double bo double dose of uh, bubble action. You're gonna say, ooh, 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 remember last episode? It was still Ekans and coughing. Our Bach is out. Good stuff. <laughs> he tried. He tried to glare at War Turtle. War Turtle just looks back. No, no. You always think about it though. War Turtle's like the ugly stepchild of the Squirtle family. You think about it. everyone loves Squirtle. Everyone loves Blastoise. People are like me. War Turtle. Same thing with Charmeleon. Like me and Charmeleon. Same thing with Ivysaur. Me. Ivysaur. You know the second evolution seems to really get no love in the Pokemon series. If you really think about it. If you really think about it. Let's go Weezing. I think War Turtle can honestly take him out. Let's go, War Turtle. Oh, Weezing looks sweet in this game. Let's try another bubble beam. Why not? It's a strong move right now. Until I get me some hydro pump or maybe some headbutt and stuff. This is my move. And that sludge is very strong. Damn. Uh Pikachu, you're at full health. Let's do this. Let's throw a Thunderbolt at him, just like in the Pokemon show. Thunderbolt that Weezing. That didn't do a whole lot. But then again, neither is that attack. At, at the tackle? Jeez, let's try a slam then. And I miss. And now I'm going to be poisoned from smog. That's what you get for missing, Pikachu. That's what you get for missing. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. <sighs> do I have any endo? Yes, I do. There you go, Pikachu. No more poisoning. Now just take that tackle and all 30 freaking points he gets for it. There you go. Hit your slam. Do a lot of damage. Okay, that was a critical hit and I barely did anything. Then. 
Oh, Pikachu faint. I need... Damn. Pikachu has to do a little cry before he goes down. Come on, Charmeleon. We gotta finish this now. And let's try a dig. Just because dig is perfect. Because he can't hit me. I pop back up. I hit him. It's good damage. Good move. Good move overall. I'm glad I taught old Charmeleon dig. Thousand points. Jeez. Nope. There's level 31. Only five more levels. So we have a Charizard. And you will regret this. I highly doubt it. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Where's Mr. Fiji? Hi. Oh, it's Mr. Fuji. Pardon me. Me? You came to save me? Thank you. I came here with my own free will. I came to claim the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Alright then. Hi. Hi. <laughs> your Pokedex quest will fail without love for your po I, I don't plan on completing my Pokedex, sir. Uh, I think this may help you along your quest. Now we can get the Schnorred action out of the way. Upon hearing the Pokemon's, the Poke Flute sleeping Pokemon will awake, basically. So, it works on all sleeping Pokemon. So, I wonder if I were to do it in a battle and the other person was asleep, like the opponent's Pokemon, if I were to do it then, would it wake him up? I've never tried. I never honestly used the Poke Flute in battle. I just, you know, awakenings work just as well. Then again, it's not too often they actually put me to sleep in a battle anyway, unless they go, of course, going up against a Jigglypuff, and then you're going to be put to sleep nonstop, which is super annoying. But I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Yellow Playthrough, and if you did, please write the video where you guys will deserve, and look at me, I have a purple hat. Have a wonderful day, guys. Wait a minute, before we go. Alright, just want to make sure me and Pichu are on good terms. Next episode, remind me. Remind me next episode, we actually need to go get uh, some potions. Super potions, hyper potions, maybe? Any kind of potion, it'll be good. Have a great day, guys.